Hi, my name is Victor Moon, the Product Manager for Biddle Consulting. Today, I would like to introduce the new custom proofreading test for the OPAC and Critical Testing software. This test allows you to create custom content for a proofreading test that can suit your organization's individual needs. You can create custom proofreading content that contains spelling, grammar, and other errors typically found in documents. Although it's called a custom proofreading test, it's actually so much more than the traditional custom grammar and spelling test. Beyond using the custom proofreading test to test job applicants in the traditional sense, it can also be used to test job incumbents as well as applicants on specific content. For example, let's say your organization just had a safety training seminar. You can set up the custom proofreading test so that the test contains errors in the document that have to be found and corrected, or fill in the blanks that an individual would have to go in and enter the correct word. This is especially useful for ensuring that an individual has memorized or is familiar with the safety training seminar that they just went through. The system's flexibility allows it to be used with any content areas. Another feature of the custom proofreading test is that it is not limited to just the English language. You can use any language that is written in a single byte text. This includes, and is not limited to, French, Spanish, and Italian. Now, while this is not a test of mastery of the language, it is a test to ensure that the individual understands the spelling and grammar rules associated with the language. Now, let me show you some examples of the custom proofreading test, which is available in both the OPAC and Critical testing software. For this example, I will be using OPAC to create and administer a custom proofreading test. To begin, open the OPAC Administrator program. Then select the testing option on the left-hand side, and then Custom Test Setup. You will now notice the proofreading test options within this window. Click on it to begin creating your custom proofreading test. First. Give the custom proofreading test a name. For our example, we will name this test Forklift Safety Seminar. The next option is to enter the knowledge, skills, or abilities measured by this test. In this case, it will be the knowledge of forklift safety procedures and proofreading skill. The custom proofreading test also allows for administrators to create their own custom instructions to be presented to the candidate before testing begins. To use the default instructions, leave this section blank. To begin creating your custom proofreading test, select the Edit slash Create button. This will open up the proofreading wizard. We highly recommend that the original content be created in a word processor. Then, copy and paste the content into the proofreading wizard. We will use the wizard to identify grammar and spelling errors that need correction. The other alternative is to create a text document that is formatted to our specific import requirements and then import it into the wizard. OPAC users will have access to a template and setup guide for doing so. As recommended, I have created the custom content in a word processor and will copy it over to the wizard. What I have copied will serve as the correct content or key. We will be adding errors and corrections to this content, which will be reflected in the candidate's proofreading test. To begin, select the word or phrase that you wish to create an error or correction for. Then click the Add button in the toolbar. A new pop-up window will appear. In the Display Text box, you will enter the text that you wish to replace the correct word in the candidate's proofreading test with. In this case, we will misspell the word forklift. The next step is to select a category. The category not only defines the error type, but is also used for subscoring the custom proofreading test. Listed below are the default categories included in the system. You can also create a custom category for your error type. In the next example, we will create a fill-in-the-blank item. Using the same steps as above, you will select the word and then click the Add button in the toolbar. 
For a fill in the blank item, we will use underscores to replace the text in the content. We will now create a special category for this item type. Click the add slash delete categories and name your new category. In this case, we will call it fill in the blank. Click on the drop down in category and select the new category you have created. You may have also noticed that the top half of the content is in English, while the bottom half of the content is in Spanish. As mentioned earlier, the custom proofreading test can handle any single byte character language. When you are done editing your content, you can preview the test and see what it looks like from the candidate's perspective. You can do this by clicking the Preview Test button near the top of the screen. When you are done previewing, click the Done button in the toolbar. We have also provided an extra Views tab, which allows you to view your custom content in a variety of ways. Of note is the List Items option, which specifies all of the errors that you've created and corrections, as well as the key and category. When you have completed your custom proofreading test creation, click the Save button on the top of the screen. After you close the custom proofreading wizard, you will be returned to the OPAC Administrator screen. The next step is to add the test document to the test name that you've created. To do so, click Browse, select the test document, and then click Open. Now save the entire test. You can now close this window. The next step is to assign the test you've created to an auto test code. From the testing option, select Auto Test Setup. Within the next window, select Auto Test Setup again. You will notice that in the list of available tests, at the bottom we now have under Custom Tests, the Forklift Safety Seminar. We will create a new auto test code with just this one test in it. 